Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Shannon tonight with a bedtime story. We are reading No Sleep for the Sheep. So everybody snuggle up with your favorite stuffed animal and let's get ready to listen. And this book was written by Karen Beaumont, illustrated by Jackie Ivanovic, and published by Harcourt. So thank you to all of them for letting me read the book tonight. So shall we get started? In the big red barn on the farm on the farm, in the big red barn on the farm, a sheep fell asleep in the big red barn, in the big red barn on the farm. There he is, sound asleep. Then there came a loud quack at the door, at the door, and the, sleep, the sheep couldn't sleep anymore. So what kind of an animal says quack, boys and girls? That's right, a duck, a duck says quack. Go to sleep, said the sheep to the duck at the door, and please don't quack anymore. Can we all say quack? Quack! Quack, said the duck in the barn. Shh, not a peep. Go to sleep, said the sheep in the big red barn on the farm. Soon the duck and the sheep fell fast asleep in the big red barn on the farm. Then there came a loud bah at the door, at the door, and the sheep couldn't sleep anymore. So what kind of an animal says bah? And it's not a sheep, it's something different. It's a goat. Go to sleep, said the sheep to the goat at the door, and please don't bah anymore. Can you go bah like a goat? Bah, good. Bah, said the goat in the barn. Shh, not a peep. Go to sleep, said the sheep in the big red barn on the farm. Soon the goat and the sheep fell fast asleep in the big red barn on the farm. And then there came a loud oink at the door, at the door, and the, sleep couldn't, the sheep couldn't sleep anymore. Do you know what kind of an animal goes oink? That's right, a pig. Go to sleep, said the sheep to the pig at the door, and please don't oink anymore. Can we all oink together? Oink, very good. Oink, said the pig in the barn. Shh, not a peep. Go to sleep, said the sheep in the big red barn on the farm. Soon the pig and the sheep fell fast asleep in the big red barn on the farm. Wonder who's gonna show up next. Oh, then there came a loud moo. What kind of an animal says moo, boys and girls? That's right, a cow. There was a cat a moo at the door and the sleep, sheep couldn't sleep anymore. Go to sleep, said the sheep to the cow at the door and please don't moo anymore. Can we all go moo? Moo! said the cow in the barn. Shh, not a peep, go to sleep, said the sheep in the big red barn on the farm. Soon the cow and the sheep fell fast asleep in the big red barn on the farm. Oh, here we go, here comes somebody else. Then there came a loud, nay, at the door, at the door, and the sheep couldn't sleep anymore. So what kind of animal goes, nay? That's right, it's a horse. Go to sleep, said the sheep to the horse at the door, and please don't neigh anymore. Neigh, said the horse in the barn. Shh, not a peep, go to sleep, said the sheep in the big red barn on the farm. Soon the horse and the sheep fell fast asleep in the big red barn on the farm. And a deep, deep sleep in the big red barn, in the big red barn on the farm. Then, oh, let's see what happens next. Oh, cock a doodle do! Wake up, all of you. Hey, sheep, that means you too. Who goes cock a doodle do? That's right, it's a rooster. They crow in the morning to wake everybody up. And look, the sun's up. The night's over, it's time to get up. 
But the sheep slept right on through, through the nays and the moos and the cock-a-doodle-doos and the big red barn on the farm. Everybody's up but the sheep. I think everybody got a good night's sleep except the sheep. Oh, peep. The end. Well, that's our story for tonight, so I hope you'll have sweet dreams, and we'll see you soon at the library. Good night.